guys. Thanks for watching DD Core with my favorite groomer on YouTube. Thanks so much for being here. We've got Jasper here. He's been a long time client and we're doing a summer shave down. Before I take on that summer shave down, I was just checking to see, you know, how much was going on here, what was going on. He hasn't been in in six months. And his uh, fellow partner, Millie Ann, a Maltese poodle mix that just came in a couple days ago, they live in the same household. So six months is a long time and a lot of things happen in six months. His pet parent has clippers and everything and he showed me some pictures of him trying to, you know, do some of the upkeep and he did upkeep them pretty good through the months. But at some point you get to where you're like, Didi, I need you. I, or groomer, I need you to clean this up real good for me. So it's been six months and I asked him today, I said, do you want me to try to, you know, do something? But he's so thick. And I'm like, with our thick white dogs, the hair is, I don't know why, but it's just so thick, just like this. And they're laying there doing nothing, sleeping and panting and super hot. So I feel like I I agree. I said, okay, well, you want to do a summer cut? Go ahead. And he said, yeah, let's just go ahead and take it down and do a summer cut. So I know some of you would be like, no, I want to save that, make it pretty and do all this and that. And that's great. But you got to listen to the client. And here in Texas, I don't know about you, a lot of, of clients like their dog shortcuts for the summer so that it can last longer and it's just cooler all around. Okay. I know you might've read somewhere that the dog's coat helps them cool off. Only if you own a dog in Texas or any hot place like Africa or Arizona or well, give me some hot, who lives in a really hot place? Only if you own that hairy dog in a very hot place will you truly understand that they, that they are panting when they're really hot. They're truly, truly panting and letting you know I'm really hot. And then you get a shave down or a summer cut and then you realize they feel cool and they love it. And only then could you truly understand the how hot a dog is here in Texas. Right, Jasper? He's such a nice dog. So Pet Parent, thanks a lot for coming back. Two dogs in one week, get them both caught up. We're gonna do a summer cut on Jasper. You ready to get started? Boy, he needs a good cleanup, doesn't he? So I really, I kind of wanted to, you know, leave him, but he's so thick. He's gonna be really hot if I don't do something. I would love to see what his true mix is. I, I don't know that he's full Maltese, but who's to say that I have any idea? I don't have any facts. And I'm not gonna assume, because it makes you look like an ASF. Okay, so let's take it down. We're gonna do a seven blade. I'm gonna, I can play with it, but I don't want Chris waiting too too long out there. It's hot in Texas. And today, I don't know why, we've got some weather coming in. It's truly humid. We've got a lot of humidity today. So I've got my 10 blade, my Abbott's five speed, my monkey cord. Love it. Love this monkey cord. And instead of doing straight up, I'm gonna go, whoop, that one over there. I'm gonna go ahead and do a four guard just to kind of give you an idea. But I am gonna come into a summer cut. So real quick, 10 blade, four guard. We're doing a summer cut so it don't matter. I'm gonna go shorter than this. I haven't brushed the whole coat. The only brush I did was right there. leave that right would he know the difference I could do a 10 too like we do it normally do a 10 you could probably get away that's a lot of hair coming off too isn't it isn't that good enough for a summer cut maybe four guard you can get your andis guard set or a single four guard by wall at myfavoritegroomer.com four guard is purple in most cases not all because they do make human stuff and different colors are different lengths. So make sure you know which one you're getting. So as thick as it felt, Chris, you did great. He's definitely, the guard went through it. If the guard wouldn't go through it, there's a lot of knots and mats. You gotta come back and, and rebrush. But isn't that funny? 
it came through, especially with the gar with the blade on there cutting the hair as it went through. You know what I'm saying? So what I'll probably do is use a dog up Sam, but hey, I'm gonna do everything I can while he's sitting down, cause he's most relaxed while he's sitting down. Not a great angle down here for the guard and all that, but hey, just get what you can and do the last, last bit while he's standing up with the dog up Sam. How many of you guys, comment below or in the live chat, how many of you guys groom a dog that loves to sit down? Chris, if you're out there and watching, he likes to watch and then leave and watch and leave. He doesn't really comment, I don't think. Chris, do you like this as a summer cut? Is it short enough? Let me see. I'm going to keep, I'm going to continue it. He does feel like they washed him last night. He feels clean. Even though he's got a lot of hair. Are you worried? Don't worry. Even though he's got a lot of hair, he feels clean. So he stood up on, on his own because he got a little nervous. I think sometimes when they're shivering a little bit, they are afraid of heights. So kind of be aware of that, that that might be what, what is going on. talked about the difference between two dogs in the same household. So isn't it funny that he is so calm and Millian is not? Comment below if you have a dog that's calm and another dog that's not. So right now I'm going to take off my guard and you see all that hair stuck in my tin blade? Yeah, that's kind of normal. If you have a lot of oil in your blade before you start, it's going to be really bad. So don't do that. Or don't oil your blades the same day you use them. Have oiled them the night before. So I had oiled these blades the night before, and you can see that's why it had, it's going to stick more than just not, okay? More than it's not? It's sticking more now because there's oil there than it wouldn't be if there was no oil there. But I had oiled all my blades in the evening. If, if I had oiled them all today, oh boy, it'd be bad. I'd have to keep stopping because this hair would just be stuck in there bad. Comment, what do you think? If I have a guard on here, do I have to keep checking the heat on my bl my tin blade? Yes or no? Comment below, comment in the live chat. That's a good question. If I have a guard on, do I have to keep kept touching my blade? Well, what is there to touch here? There's a big plastic rubber or whatever. Might be metal within there, so it's got a big plastic thing. There's nothing, nothing to test. And is the heat coming through? No, nope, not coming through. I'm going to keep this handy in case I have to pop that off again. Armpits are kind of snagging, so I'm not going to stay there with my guard. Come back with my tent. Don't keep going with the snaggy, uh, snaggy hair. You might just pull in the skin. Okay, don't do that. So I'm going to clean that out with my blade brush. Definitely want to pick up a blade brush. Super low cost, but it's definitely handy. I do want to tell you too, how many, I've been saving this one here, watch. I 
think I've been using this blade brush for two years. It's time to change it. Look, there's so much hair in it. Okay, so I've been carrying this one around because I've been using this one, but I needed to show you the difference between one with caked up with hair and one that's clean. And is there a difference? Absolutely. Make sure you come back. I recommend it sooner than two years. So this is trash. It's out of there. Get yourself a clean blade brush and change it what seems to be about every six months, maybe every once a year, depending on how many dogs you're grooming. Boom, it'll get all that hair out nice and fast. Now see, I gotta keep this one though for demo purposes. So we'll keep that one down there. Check your heat, good. We're gonna come do these armpits that I talked about. I had a little bit of knots and mats and everything like that. I uh, can use a dog up stand. Sounds good. I'll use a small dog up stand, and I don't have straps on this one, but I do have one that has straps. I lowered it down to the lowest setting. I can kind of get my hand through there. Heat. I know you guys just get to have a good here. Oh, yep, we got some knots in there. I want to make sure we get those out. Yep. Nice. If you don't see it, don't take it, or you're going to swipe it and cut the skin under there. Stretch it out. Skim, skim here. Go reverse. Can you see? My elbow might be in the way there. Because this is a sensitive area, 
You might want to have a cool blade. Second tin blade, ceramic. Here we go. Skin skim. Got a little static there. Go after me, up, 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 up. Good boy. Skim, skim. Skim, skim. Skim that. Nice and easy, Bear. Oh. Nice and easy. You pull it a little bit. Don't do it. Skim here. Oh, you're stretchy, stretchy. You want to sit down? Okay. Good, it's nice and clean now, isn't it? Use my hand here, come up in this area, come up, carve it out. Come check this. Remember, this is my template. I went ahead and did a four guard on the body. I'm checking it out. Uh, if this can work, I might leave it. Come down seven feet. Everything else is short, right? Short, short. I think he'd like it still. Check back here. Sorry, let me chisel you back. Jasper. All right. I'm going to bring it down. The next one shorter. See, the next one is going to be, you get your four, uh, four, four guard. The next one down is a five guard. Or you can come back with, say, a five blade. Possibly do that. Or maybe even a four blade. Those are riskier blades. If you've never done work with those, be careful. Let me see if I got any of them in reach. So you have your seven blade, okay? Can you see the difference in what happened in the teeth? Seven to five. Five teeth got a little tiny bit thicker. Let's put the seven blade down. You got your four, leaving it even more thicker. Your teeth got thicker here than this five to four blade. Then hold it like this. You can see the difference here big time. How many guys own a five blade? How many own a four blade? Four blade, look, there's a lot more metal here, more expensive blade. Five, seven, right? Take your seven and your five blade here. You see how the teeth got more gappy? So if you have more, if you have any snag, skin is gonna go right up in there. Okay, be careful with it. Between the seven and the five, this is the five, has more meat to it, more blade here. You can see how thick it is compared to the seven. We'll take you down to the 10. So the 10 blade, okay? You can really see now, look at this. This is why it's a little safer. The teeth are closer together. More gap here. Look at the gap between the teeth here. You can really pull in all kinds of stuff. Like what, what could you pull in there? You know what I'm saying? What could you pull in there? Skin, look, right? Pull in skin. You can still pull in skin here, right? You see how it won't grab as fast? It won't grab it like, like it will grab here, watch. Look at that, you can pull in that skin real nice and easy. So 10, safest, especially with cats. All right, 
right, move forward. But you can see here, 10, five, big difference of how much hair you're leaving if you have this much metal in the way, right? Give me purple hearts if you learned something just now. Will you give me some purple hearts? Did you learn something just now? Show me some love if that just helped you learn something right now. All right, we got my 10 blade on here. And we're gonna do, let's do a, let's get the 40 blade on, do his pads. How about that? Purple heart, did you just learn something right now? Something you didn't know? All right, 40 blade. Oh. Look, this is a, like a surgical blade. I mean, this will literally like, I could just cut my finger right here, right now. Just boom, just cut it because it's so short, but it's the butter in a pad. So taking all that pad hair off, but you just gotta learn your rhythm and learn the heaviness of your clipper and your blade against skin or you. So, purple hearts if you learn something right, right now. Now, you don't know how heavy you're holding the clipper? Go down your own skin here. Are you, come this way. Do you nick yourself? Practice on yourself, then sanitize the blade. On a 40, you want to practice on yourself? Skim, practice skimming right there. Now I'm going to have a bunch of prickly hairs, but hey, guess what? You didn't nick nobody. All right. How many of you guys nicked, a, nicked with the first time you used a 40? You nicked your own dog, you nicked your pad, you nicked yourself. You got to learn that the weight that you put behind the clipper, learn that. That takes time, consistency, experience. Okay, let's get the dog up stand. Let's get the small dog up stand, or let me show you. We did the do small dog up stand already, right? Or you have the option of using one or two minis. There we go. Maybe not like that, but like this. And maybe not one, maybe two. Come through and get these pads done. How about it? Come over here, camera. Yeah, Dee Dee will help you out here. Is that a good view? Is that a good view? Thumbs up if it's a good view. Thumbs up for me, good view. Yeah, close up a little bit more. Can I get a thumbs up for a good view? Now yeah, we're gonna take our time here, real light. I can't see what I'm, what I'm working with yet, it's too bushy. So real light, go down with it. Use your palm right there as a backer. Go up now. Get that hair going into the blade. Force it to go in the blade. Now down. Use the edge of the corner. When I say edge, I mean like this edge or this edge. Okay, this edge or this edge. When I say use the edge of your blade, that's what I'm saying here. That's what I mean. Tap, tap. Know your weight. Right? Know your weight. Know how to flip that cord, too. Get that, get that monkey cord at myfavoritegroomer.com. Get the bright one, too, because you will be able to see your clipper in a bag. We'll come back and rework those with the nails and everything, okay? Come back here. Thumbs up if that's a good view. Thumbs up for me. Put thumbs up in the chat if you got a good view. You got front row seat? Thumbs up, please. You got a front row seat, put a thumbs up so I can glance over there and see it. Thumbs up if you got a front view. Front row view. Friday, Friday, baby. Front view. Best seat in the house. Thumbs up. <laughs> I'm glancing. I see two thumbs. Give me some thumbs up. Got the best seat in the house. Nice, soft, chisel, chisel. Use my, use your own fingers, right? Ooh, look at them thumbs up. Thumbs up, you got the best view in the house. All right, let me get a close up here. Front feet, let's get, re let me back up. Dogupstand.com, myfavoritegroomer.com. Is this good view for you? 
I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more, Dee Dee. There you go, look at that baby. Oh yeah, here we go. 40 blade going now. Go down, go back. Up and down when you're working with the pads. And go out. You wanna grab all that flary stuff. You got a good view? Thumbs up on a good view. Nice, nice, tap, tap, little tap, tap. Who, who knows how to tap dance? Tap dance. Who knows his name? Say, good boy, Jasper. Good boy, Jasper. Easy peasy when you're digging. Okay, okie dokie. Is that beautiful or what? I see them thumbs up. Give me them thumbs up. You got a good view in the house. Thumbs up. Okay, let's swing you guys over here. Listen here, clip record. You're gonna have to go around the camera for it. And Dee Dee, don't step on the wheels. Let's see where we're at. Watch the cord. Thumbs up, yeah baby, got some thumbs up. Okay, you got a good view? Let me see. That's a good view right there. Front row seat. <laughs> I don't know what's up with this front row seat comment today. I'm having fun with it though. Front row seat, baby. Friday, you know, movie night. It's okay. Say it's okay, Jasper. You get that out of there. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, he's pulling a little bit. Let's move these minis. And come back this way. Put your arm in there. Front row seat. Thumbs up. Who has a front row seat? You have a good view out there? Thumbs up. Nice. Who knows what blade I'm using right now? Try not to even touch the skin. Just skim. Skim, skim. Skim, skim, skim. Skim, skim. Almost done, Jasper. Good boy. I won't say good boy, Jasper. Good boy, Jasper. Yeah, good boy, Jasper. How's it look now? Let's take a look. Zoom in. Ooh, looking clean, eh? Ooh, wee, look at the nails. All righty. That's a pretty good view. Thumbs up if you got a good view. All right, back on up now. Let's reevaluate what we're doing here. Check your heat. Heat on the 40 blades, perfect. Perfect, just in time. See this? Do you see this nail here? Look at them nails. Let me help you with them nails. Six months. Woo wee! Let's try to do nails every six to eight weeks if possible. I understand if you can, but let's just give it a try. All right, let's get them nails done. Who wants to do the nails for me? Who's a pro at doing nails? Who's a pro at doing nails? Raise your hand. Who's a pro at doing nails? Raise your hand. Who's a pro at doing nails? Raise your hand. Who's a pro? Hardly ever nick a quick. Who's a pro? Let me see them hands. Come out here, let me see you do a nail trim. Maybe you can come help me do some events. He's a pro at doing nail trim. All right, we're gonna do the back nails, go around do the front nails, maybe do a trim trim, maybe come down with the seven on the legs, kind of clean that up a little bit, brush out again, go through the foreguard one more time, finish out the face. Get your nail trimmers at myfavoritegroomer.com. Even though you're good at doing nails, you always wanna have quick stuff on you just in case. So get the set there, myfavoritegroomer.com under nails. Here we go. Who's a pro at doing nails because you learn from my videos? Raise your hand. You're gonna wag your tail? Don't wag your tail. I got it tucked, I got it nice and tucked right now. I got it tucked. You see him trying to jerk his tail out. He's trying to jerk his tail out. No, you can't have your tail, Jasper. Not yet. Not yet, Jasper. Almost done though. 
You're doing good, Jasper. Say good boy, Jasper. Okay. My bad. Let me zoom out. Scoot you over and zoom you back in. Here you go. Zooming in. Let me tuck that tail underneath. Grab it with your other fingers. You don't want to give it to me, cutie pie. You don't want to give me them. Their tail. Need support? Get that dog up stand. Especially if he has bad knees. I don't know that he has bad knees, but you could get it if you need to right here. Oh, 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 oh. Using my finger for, as a support for my nail trimmers. You can see the vein. So if you see the vein, hey, stop there. Backing you guys up. Zoom out. All right, here we go. Let's brush his tail out while we're back here. How about that? Get your bristle brush, large bristle brush. Get a little squirt of that leave-in conditioner. My favorite bottle now is a turquoise. Okay, I'm just joking. My favorite bottle is the ocean or the rainbow. But I do love that color turquoise. Who else loves that color turquoise? Go ahead, if you want, put some turquoise hearts in there on the live chat or comment below. Who loves that color turquoise? Became so popular last year, in 2019, 2021, hasn't it? Turquoise all over the place now. Turquoise, aqua. All right, like I had chisel with the tin, right? Wasn't good enough. Look at all these knots in here. Look at this. I could shave it out, but it's going to be a big gap. Hey, what's the matter? Who cares? Well, I don't want it to be like that. So I'll just trim, scissor out with the hair, the same way the hair is growing. Dogs don't like their tails messed with, so I don't want to stay here too long. He, he's nice. I don't want to make him mean, okay? So trim out that. See, you can hardly tell there was a mat there now, right? But look all the way down the tail here. See right there? Get that, and it'll just pull right out here like this. See? Is this a trick you didn't know? If it is, let me know. Tell me, I just learned that trick right now, BB. Thank you. That's going to save me some math on the tail. Even a pet parent can do this. Hold that right there. I'm gonna, just like you would your own hair. Hold it right there. Did you just learn that today? If you don't have a D matter, it's another way to use a, your scissor. If your dog moving around too much, it's dangerous. Hey, might not be able to do it. Shave it off. Come this way with it. Can't see it? Don't take it. I don't know if skin's there or not. Don't take that. Don't be taking it if you can't see it. Don't do it. Can't see it? Don't take it. Another, another, just going off of that, right? If it's not right in front of you, don't be, don't be grooming. Don't be reaching way over to groom. No, have it right in front of you to reposition your body. Look, he don't want me to touch his tail. I understand that. Yeah, I'm kind of hurry up. Okay. All right. All right. What can I do here to make sure I got all the knots? What can I do? Tell me what I can do right now to make sure I got all the knots out. Tiny bit of leave-in conditioner in my favorite bottle. Learned in the last two years. Awesome, Autumn. What can I do right now to make sure I got all the mats out of the tail? Tell me what I can do. Comb it. Why? The comb don't lie. Here we go. We're going to get our aluminum comb because I'm a groomer and I want that lightweight, lightweight aspect. Just a tiny bit. Oh, look at there. What's that? Get your D matter or hey, what? Get that scissor back out. You know, there's always more than one way to do something, right? Oh, I don't have any scissors, Dee Dee. Okay, well, do this. Come in here, cut that out. Long ways, not this way. Long ways. I don't have any comb, Dee Dee. Okay, well, we gotta figure that one out. I mean, combing a brush is like super essential for brushing. I don't have a D matter. Okay, we'll grab either a clipper or a scissor, something. And that sharp point, that's what I'm using right now, the ear shear, I call it the ear shear on mypaperdroomer.com. But the sharp point 
is what I like going through when I need to like catch something. You got your sharp point, right? You got your bubble tip point, right? When you try to like catch something here, it's not, it's a bubble tip. It's gonna just slip around it, slip around that bubble, okay? You wanna catch something, this, like right here, if I wanna go around the table, it'll go around the table and catch it. It won't go around with the bubble tip. It'll just go through it. The, this sharp point will actually help me move the hair around. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's check this. Check, make sure these are closed. If he was jumping up and down, the tools are not on the table. Check that view. I want you guys to have front row seats. It's Friday. Who's got front row seat? Who has the best seat in the house? Ooh. He's like, get off my tail. Now, if I was brushing really hard, I would already brush burn the tail. Don't brush burn the tail. Shoot, don't brush burn the dog, period. If you don't know how to not brush burn a dog, brush your arm. Brush your arm with the brush that you use on the dog, okay? I want you to test it on yourself. Let me see, let me see your tail. I'm just gonna take this short because it's all different little. Yeah, you jerky, jerky, you're jerking it. You're jerking it. You want the other jerk? Okay, we're almost done, I promise. I promise, we're almost done here. Don't want that to catch any poo, that's my priority here. That's my priority here. Right, up here is all clean, right? I like that a lot. How do you guys like it? You like it clean? I like it clean, all right. Do, 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 do. Seven on the feet. Let's do that. All right. Reposition you guys. Back you guys up here. Here we go. We're going to move. How you guys looking here? Look good? Okay, we're gonna do seven on the feet here. Just light, get this bushy stuff kind of out of there, or you can hand scissor you want, either way. Two ways to do the same thing. Real light, I'm not going real hard. So see, I can hand scissor that, right?
do a 10, what do you guys vote? I'm not going to tell the pet parent I didn't use a 10. I'm just going to leave it at a four guard. What do you guys think? If you know me really well, you know I'm going to tell him. He's, he's watching right now anyway. We didn't use a 10, but he did get a real short cut, didn't he? I didn't think we needed to go with down to a 10. What do you think? Can you vote now for me? This good for a summer cut, or should I do a 10 down? Vote now. Comment below or in the live chat. You can't hardly tell that I didn't use a 10, right? But I didn't. So I didn't use a 10, but I came up with a seven down here, real light, so it is tight. But he's still got a summer cut, it's real short. Right, there's more than one way to do something, isn't there? But if I'd have done a 10 right away, I couldn't go back, right? I can't put the hair back on. However, he did say short like Millie, so he might say, Dee Dee, why didn't you take it all the way off? I think it's good enough. Hope now, what you think? Let me know. Would you go ahead and do a 10 all over? Let me know. All right, we're switching out. We have the seven blade, we're switching out now. Back to our 10 blade. We're gonna put our four guard back on. Lay it here, pull it over. We're gonna put our four guard back on. We're gonna come work on the face. The cutest part, the part that reveals who they are. Bear with me, let me get you situated here. All that booger stuff, oh yeah, we gotta get that stuff out. Let me see what you guys said real quick. Let me see here. I know I lost some donations. Um, let me see if I can find them. I know I saw MP donated. Let me see if I can go this way and see it. Nope. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, MP, to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! Thanks for your donation. I appreciate you. Can it, somebody remind me, because it already left the screen and I've got a dog on the table, if there's another donation. Did anyone see that? Let's see what you guys voted for. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Yes. All right, let's see what you guys voted for. Okay, I'm going, looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good, hello, sorry to hear that, Jane, okay, da 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 da, mom with teeth in that, blind is, okay. Some of you guys are chit-chatting, I'll get back to that later. 10, Autumn says do a 10, it looks good to me. You can leave them like that, Chris, oh, that's the owner, Chris Fry, thank you for letting me know I can leave them like that. As we continue, let's see what everyone else said. 10 down, looks great, looks great. Hmm, leave it, looks perfect. 
Thumbs up. Very cute boy. Looks good. Looks good. Me too. I think it looked great. Me too. LaCroix says go seven. I would want a shorter cut, but it depends on the owner and expertise of the groomer. There you go. So the owner just chatted and he said, leave it like that. My dog's a bit poorly at the moment. Looks very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jasper being so good. You being so good. Your daddy's watching. Yes, he is. Chris, I didn't have to shave him. I got all through with the guards, so I just left it like that, I think. I would go shorter and allow it to grow back nicely. Cookie Puppy donate. Thank you so much for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Cookie Puppy to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! Thank you so much. So, what we did, Sevensons, is who wants to tell Sevensons what we did? And thank you for reminding me who donated. It's already lost it. Uh, unfortunately, on certain devices, you can only go so far back until you get to a computer. So, thank you for helping me on that. Can someone let. Seven sons know what we did so far. And Chris, I was about to call you. So I'm glad you mentioned it. Thank you for mentioning that. I, this is good. All right, let's get to the face. You guys ready? Look at your face. <laughs> Look at your face. Okay. Where do you start on the face? Who wants to tell me? Where should... <laughs> mask or no mask, hair will still find its way somehow. And tickle your lip or tickle your knows who knows that hair will find its way in your into your underwear uh, tickling your armpit in your socks weaved through every inch of any kind of fabric so where am i going to start on the face can anybody tell me where to start for me for jasper in this moment with his tail wagging and all i'm going to start out by brushing his face that'll kind of let me know what I want to take off and what I don't want to take off as an artist. So I like actually see uh, the ears here flowing, right? I see it flowing. And hey, this is not Japanese fusion. That's to me more expensive and takes a lot more time. This is just grooming, basic grooming. Japanese fusion, a long time, more money. I'm going to just do a basic haircutting here. I'm going to see this flow here go like this, but let's brush everything out. And we do need to clean all that up and all this, ugh, ugh, this stuff. Who's got a front, front seat view? Thumbs up if you got a front seat view here. Let's show them what we got to clean up here. Okay, all this and this, and this stuff. Okay, we want to clean all this all. I kissy kissy my boys and girls, so we really want to make his face kissy kissy. Okay, you want kissy kissy, right, Jasper? They just go kissy kissy. I can't kiss that. You know, I don't know about that. Don't tell nobody I said that, but we kissy kissy later, okay? Who's got a front row seat? Thumbs up. Okay, let me back you guys up. Now, let's start off by brushing. Let's clean this brush out first. I want my bristles to be able to grab everything I need to take out. Okay, here we go. Brush the face. Little by little, brush everything. Some of this I'll come back with my guard and take off. Oh, look at that big knot right there. Got to cut through that. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Senior five, girl. Thank you so much for your donation. I'm actually going to sing it twice because she sent me some donation offline. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, senior fly girl, to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! Thanks so much for your two donations of the other day and, and your consistent donations, to be honest with you. She looked in the description of the video and wow. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation to Dog Gunner Man Adventure, to my favorite groomer. Woohoo! Thanks so much for your donation. Clap, clap, clap. Thank you. Thank you, two dogs and senior fly girl, Pookie Puppy MP. Woohoo! Keep it coming. Oh my goodness. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, MP, to my favorite groomer. Woohoo! Clap, clap, clap. Thank you so much for your donations, MP. Woohoo! Okay, let me see here. Oh, I'm singing. I'm over here singing up my storm over here. I don't know, but I gotta cut this mat out. Let me see here. Yeah, look that way. You guys got close up view here? Okay. So I'm gonna come in here, and like I told you the other day, like I don't wanna shave this out because I'm always gonna have to shave it out. So at some point, let's work it, right? 
And since there's more than one way to work it, I'm going to use my D matter now. All the tools I use and believe in, they're at myfavoritegroomer.com. So I'm going to gently demat this couple mats back here behind his ears. Little by little, like just pull it, little by little, pull it out. Okay, I know you don't like it. Okay, let's, now let's scissor. Use your ear shear, which is sharp. I'm going to scissor this out. Pull it away from the skin and then scissor it out. If you don't like it, you know, I don't want to sit here and cause pain to him. So who wants to do that? Scissor that out there like that. Wild dog, you need to use a clipper. But if it's wild dog, you want to be safe. You're working now with a bunch of tools here, okay? Your brush, your comb, your dematter, your ear shear. And now I'm just kind of moving forward here. All right. Okay. I need to figure out the difference between the neck line and the ear line and all that. That'll happen in a minute. Hair just flying everywhere, isn't there? fingers as a backer, comb, brush, use your fingers, check, 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 everyone say check, 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 comment below or in the live chat say check, 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 <laughs> check, check, okay, layer it, bring out that last layer. Oh, that sucker's big. Whew. Get a bicep workout in here. Check. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Comb check. Still in there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Brush. seat. Say, I do. Give me thumbs up. Front row seat. You have a good view, front row seat? Check. Sounds like black. Brush. Check. Check, check. Don't forget that groom loop could get in your way, so don't brush the groom loop thinking that it's a mat. Brush. Check. Check, check. Everyone say check, check. See them thumbs up over there? Thumbs up. You got a front row seat. <laughs> Today's front row seat is fun, isn't it? I like it a lot. Okay, I'm going reverse here, just kind of checking it, kind of seeing what's going on. Now look at that ear versus that ear. Boy, oh boy, it's about to get a rude awakening over here. Okay. I want to see your face. Come here, please. Ooh, that's chunky. Let's get it out of the way. 
Let's go to the non-chunky and then move it forward. Move it in there, you know, swipe it in there, little by little. Ooh, look at all that chunky stuff. We're past the ear, so don't keep going back to the ear, okay? The ear's had enough. Okay, what's this stuff here? What's this? You licking me? You licking? Okay, licker. Okay, kitty, kitty. I told you we're gonna make you kissable. Mm -hmm. Let's come in this way. Wild dog, you're not gonna be doing that. Cut that out. Little by little, watch the bristles on the eyes. I didn't say don't brush, I said watch the bristles on the eyes. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's move all this out. Now, be matter, please. Thank you. going in his mouth. Trim, pull it out. Look at all this in your mouth. Spit all that out. Take a look. Hmm, he let me get it all out with that feel feel stuff. Ooh, look at the difference between here and here. Let me say. Let me say. Let's take a look. Can you see it on this? Look at the difference between here and here. Okay. Good opportunity here to use some thinning shears. Let me get those out and show you what that's kind of like. I think I might have some here. Let me think. Gold. You see gold ones? No, no, no. Nope. Here we go. You can do the 42 or the 46. These are the anvil on my website. They're so pretty and they're strong and it's a USA company. So here you can do that therapy. We'll let you kind of do some of those things. So here I'm going to close his muzzle here. and pull it down and out. If you have the thinning shear, you can do that. Will they still cut skin? Yes. Will they still cut a tongue? Yes. this way then. I'm like, I like to do this and then pull it, but there's not right there. So I'm going to bring you my pointer here to your shear. Take that out.
See how the, like the bubble tip is not gonna let you point here and grab it, right? See how important it is to have this ear shear? They're not that expensive at all. It's very important. But if you're scared, don't get them. You know, if you're scared to use them, don't get them. Because why have it just sitting there either? And scared to use them, it means if you don't know how to use them, don't use them. I don't want anyone to injure their pet. Just takes practice, right? It takes practice. Just takes practice. Okay, so we're gonna come down here. Let me stay here. All this thing stuff. <laughs> oh, I already did. Oh, hey. Don't forget, get your tools at myfavoritegroomer.com and dogupstand.com. Ooh, your face is looking pretty. Yeah. Are you guys seeing a difference? I'll check with the comb here. Yes. Chris, do you enjoy, are you still watching, Chris? Do you enjoy getting to watch? I bet you enjoy watching Jasper more than Millie Ann, though, man. She's stressful, huh? But nothing can beat that make-out session at the end, though, I'll tell you what. can tell me you know what it feels like to get this bicep workout right here <laughs> you start burning and you're like man I got six more dogs to go ten more dogs to go and you're wore out and your arms wore out tell me who who knows what I'm talking about if you're a member use a dog up stand emoji if you know what I'm talking about It's the same thing as writing all day and you start, eventually over the year, you start getting carpal tunnel and your fingers are numb. Your arms burning, you're doing muscle damage over 10, 15 years of doing the same thing. You didn't realize that was gonna happen. Take care of yourself now. Don't wait till your arm's out. Get that massage every month. Get that massage every week. It ain't no joke. Have someone helping you out. Go ahead and invest in that hot tub right now. If you get a hot tub, go get it. Uh, this is a plug, but this is a free plug. If you get a hot tub, go to Mattress Farm and get their 0% credit card, okay? And get your, if you're a groomer, you, if you're not a groomer, if you can afford it, get that 0% 15-year loan to get a hot tub. 0% for 15 years or whatever until you pay it off. How can you beat that? 0% interest. Only Mattress Farm that I know of can do that. Mattress room, hot tubs. Yes, they do have hot tubs. <laughs> if they can give a referral, you better tell them where you found out. Invest in taking care of your body because it ain't gonna last. Our brain will last longer than our body and be if I told you that, be prepared for it. How do you prepare for that? Start taking care of your body now. Don't overwork yourself because no one else is gonna, that client that you worked for 20 hours on a dog with the DMAT, yeah, 20 hours, three days, two, back to back, they're not going to be there when you retire. Okay? What they paid for their groom should have paid for your retirement. And if you didn't put that stuff aside for your retirement, that's your, that's your fault, not theirs. And if you didn't take care of your body throughout the grooming, that's not their fault, it's yours. Especially if I'm here bickering that in your ear every time I groom. It's like, take care of yourselves. 
No one's going to take care of you but you. At least your body and everything. Who knows what I'm talking about? If you know what I'm talking about, please let me know. It ain't just me, right? And even if you know what I'm talking about but you're not doing it, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Please let me know. Holla. Holla at me if you, if you agree with that. Okay, Jasper. I really got to get this ear done now. Come on now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get in there and get your dematter. Brush. Oh, we're almost done here. See, we can't do nothing until it's all brushed out. You can't do nothing if you're going to save it until it's all brushed out. If I wanted to do a 10 and shave his head, it'd be already off. But that's not what we're doing right now. Okay. Check here. Check, check. Everyone say check, check. Can I get everyone to say check, check? Who's all in the chat? Who's not in the chat? Who needs to be in the chat? Give me check, check. Let me get your participation so I know you know I love you and you know I know you love me back. Check, check, say check, check, comb check. Everyone say comb check. I can't hear you, man. Comb check. <laughs> I'm doing a comb check here. Got the groom loop in my way, so I'm working that. Brushing my own glove here. You know you got problems when you're brushing your glove. Who's already started to use gloves when they're grooming because they saw me doing it? Use gloves, prevent those splinters that you have to dig for. Everyone that, please let me know. I, I'm looking over there for something. Say check, check, everyone say check, check. I see everyone typing, check, check. We're almost done here, you better have fun with it. You know that moment you're like, I've always wanted to chat, but I usually just watch. I'm asking you, chat. <laughs> let me know, you love me and I love you. Say check, check. Come check, please. Okay, let's come in here. A little bit more, Jasper. Let's see if we can do something here. Let me get my thumb right there. Doo. So he don't pull back. And doo, don't pull back. I said, don't pull back, Jasper. Flip it. D matter here. Watch. Okay, what are you doing? Come on, don't do that. Don't fake me out here. D matter. Ooh, we gotta get this all out. Comb check. Everyone say comb check. Get the brush going. This comb ain't doing nothing but picking at it. Okay, it's too much. I gotta get my ear shear. Cut that. Oh, that's nasty right there. Let's cut that out. Let me get a full view. Let's cut this out here. Put them in this way. Just cut a little bit. Cut that knot out right there like that. Comb check. Everyone say comb check. Check, check. Are you guys having fun? I hope so, because I am. Okay, here we go. We got this stuff. We're going to take that out. Come in right here. Take that out. Just little, you know, chit 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 chit, little bit. Watch your tongue. Might come out any minute now. Ooh, cut that out. Check that. Get that out of there. Wait for it. There you go. Get that out of there. Nice. Get that out of the teeth. Nice. Get that lip. What's that? I'm gonna take that right there. What's this one? Take that, take that. Take that right there. Okay, whew, let's take a look here. Ooh, you're looking purdy, purdy, huh? Purdy, 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 ooh, yeah. Get your flea comb, let's kind of change everything up here. Let's look around. Oh yeah, we got a comb check. Everybody comb check, 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 comb check, comb check. Look at all these comb check, comb check, comb check. Yes, baby, comb check, check, check. <laughs> oh, that's so fun, I love it. Y'all been doing that for 10 minutes, I love it. Comb check, check, check. Oh yeah, have fun with it. 
live your life, have fun with it. Love them, thumbs up. Thanks so much, love you guys. Thanks so much for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Don V Storm to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! Thank you for your donation. Keep them coming. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Man, those purple hearts look pretty, Newtown girl. Everyone do purple hearts. Give me some purple hearts, everybody. Check, check. Drop them purple hearts real quick for me. We're about to end the feed. All right, here we go. We're gonna do our flea comb. There's two different, three different kinds I have, all different budgets. We're gonna check this eyeball area here. Get all that gunk out. You want a close up? Here we go. Let's get a close up. Eye gunk. Look at all that I just got. Let me see. Eye gunk. Check. 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 Okay. Got this. Got boop. Oh, this is gonna be a good one here. Okay. You don't like that? Let's pull it here. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Ooh, wee. Get yourself a flea comb, please. And get this, check it every day. Flea comb, okay? Yeah. Oof, look at that. Check the eyeball. MyFavoriteGroomer.com. Flea combs. Get you one. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. Ooh, that looks gross. Sorry, Chris. That's gross. Come here. Now I'd be kissing my dog's face. This can't be up in there like that. I can't smell that stuff. No, no, no. Oh, no. Pick it up at myfavoritegroomer.com. All right, let's take a look here. Take a look here. Well, let's use our flea comb to part the hair on the nose. Okay, may I? You got your tail wagging, yeah. You got your tail wagging. Let's part your hair here. Chris, we're almost done. Let me see here. Let me see. I know. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me see him part your hair nose. Let me push it back. Push it back. Yeah, push it back. Push it back. And get that hair in the way, because I'm about to trim it out. Get that hair in the way. Wow, look how clean it's looking from earlier. Ooh, maybe we can do a before and after picture later, huh? Um, yeah, put it up close to it next to each other. Yeah. Okay. Tin blade. You don't have to, but why not? Let's get the tin blade here. He might not want me to, but let's just try it. May I? Tin blade here, chisel this edge. Just clean the eyes out. I'm not shaving down the muzzle. Clean all that out. I'm trying to oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Real nice, soft this way, skim, skim. Watch the eyeball. You don't know what you're doing, use thinners. Nervous, use thinners. Chisel right there with the edge of your tin blade. Chisel, chisel with the edge. Chisel, chisel, chisel. Back out. Go flat. Okay. Come down with the edge of your tin blade. Get all that maroon stuff. Take a look here, let me see. Let me see it this way. He doesn't like it when I hold his chin here, so uh, for him, I've got to keep changing it and doing this. Skim, skim, trying to get some of that maroon color out of there. Unfortunately, I can't get it all out or it'll be bald. Okay. Four, get your four card. You think if you cut it all off and like He'll keep it clean? Nah. It won't we did it before. We've shaved his face all yeah. the way down. It was um, October. You can go back and watch the live feed on him in October. We shaved his head with a tin blade. The whole thing was off. Yeah. And then this is what we got six months later, so. 
You're welcome to try those tear stain pads that I have on myfavoritejeweler.com. We are still, uh, I'm waiting on f about five or six clients to let me know. If oh, they are you done with that? Can I see? Say again. I gotta do the neckline here before I can do finish the face. Because I left the neck here because of the groom loop, so we need to do that first. Remember I told you guys make sure you come back and separate the neck from the ears and all that so you'll know what you're doing. moved you over here but now you're not seeing the face the front of the face cheeks right here and right here thick cheeks and we had to take care of that okie dokie thick cheeks who else has thick cheeks say red hearts red hearts say i got thick cheeks for you dd i think we all got pretty thick cheeks right they now. got thick cheeks dd give me some red hearts if you got some thick cheeks and david go and throw some air to red hearts out there for me on that i definitely have some thick cheeks <laughs> You got some thick cheeks? Who'd have thought, man, that you got some thick cheeks? Jasper, you got some thick cheeks? Okie dokie, yes you are. Okay, I know you don't like that, but I'm gonna try to keep, stop doing that. 8.5, and these are the, did I call them the 8.5s, they're a little off. They're a little nine inch something something. They're my favorite groomer ones, and my favorite groomer on there, they're very affordable. Get those, myfavoritegroomer.com. They're a great starter shear. And then when you want to go into a $300 shear, let me know. But you might find that something like this just works just fine. You don't like that. So I'm going to have to grab up your muzzle here. If you don't let me trim, like hold your chin here. If you don't want me to hold your chin here, I got to hold something. Okay, I keep trying to hold your chin here. But okay, I got you. Go trim all that there. Anything you left behind, you're gonna come chisel it out.
How are we looking, Chris? Did you burp? Did you burp? Oh, you did burp. You did burp so cute. You are cute. You're so cute. You burp so cute. Yeah. Anybody else's burp is not cute. Just yours. Just yours. Don't tell anybody else come burp in front of me like that. No way. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. He's so cute. Is he so cute? He's so cute. Yeah, you're so cute, huh? Hmm? Okay, hold on. I gotta have you look up. I gotta fix this. Okay. Move that ear out of the way first. Okay, your vote. Too short, too long. Is the face too short or too long? Your vote. Let me know what you think. We're about to wrap her up. Okay, I'm gonna have him look up, but I need to bring him up a little bit so I can really stop moving him up and down, up and down. Is his face too short or too long for you? Too long. This way, this is in the way here. Brush that forward just in case.
paper brush. this all backwards. You don't have to, but this is just a little extra. I'm going to brush it all this way first. Oh, they told you don't brush the hair backwards? I'm sorry. Well, do you have long hair? I brush my hair all kinds of ways on my head. next. Well, since I told him we were going to do a 10 shave down and we didn't, I'm going to make sure I get like every last lingering hair, okay, one more time. Backwards brush, okay, backwards brush, get it off of the body, sticking up. Look how much came off. Backwards brush, you know what I'm going to do now. Come on now. Who knows what's next? One last time. Look at all those flurries that didn't get through the first time because the hair is down. The hair, even washed yesterday, got a haircut today, was pushed down. And it's not like going down and the hair is down, but now the hair is up. Now I'm forcing the hair, dirty or dead, to go through my guard one more time. Clean your blade, tin blade, ceramic, and it's five speed. If you can afford the five speed, get the five speed, myfavoritegroomer.com. If you can't afford the five speed, but you need the quality, a little heavier, it's a two speed. I use a two speed forever. Use a two speed. Since I told him I was going to do a shave down, I'm going to clean this up. Look how much I already did a haircut. Brush it up and one more time come down. We're still doing a four guard. We're just grabbing all that little stuff back out or big stuff. We did a seven on the legs, so there shouldn't be much to come down on the legs. It won't add up because a seven is shorter than a four guard. Just give it one more clean rinse over with your four guard, with the hair reverse. Because he was expecting a 10 shave down, remember? He wasn't expecting a four guard. It's a still short summer cut though, and I think it looks great. And pet owner said, just on the chat earlier, it looks good. Leave it, it looks good. Still really short. Come 
come back here to work around that groom loop. Anybody who worked with a dog without a groom loop and the dog jumped off the table and injured itself? Yeah, did that have that happen to anybody? Raise your hand. Groom loop's essential. Groom loop's essential. You may not like it. I don't love it. But a table and the floor and me and the dog, groom loop is essential. Even if it's loose, even if it's around the arm. You're welcome to get those groom loops at myfavoritegroomer.com. Someone would say, don't keep going. You might as well have done a seven all over. Don't keep going too much. You did You did go back over it, but don't keep going, right? Don't keep pushing until you have done, might as well have done a seven blade. Don't want to do that either. I suppose that is possible. I kept going and kept taking off hair, kept taking off hair, kept pushing harder and kept pushing harder. Might as well have done a seven blade. But isn't it funny how I did a seven blade skim on the leg and you can't hardly tell? You can't hardly tell, can you? But a seven blade on the body all the way down, like down on the body, you will definitely see it's, it's short. Can I have a face up here? Maybe a groom loop? Come down here. Skin, skin, reverse here. Skin, skin. Not heavy. Okay, one last thing. Does anybody know what else I'm going to do? One last thing that I don't do on every dog. But you can just not, I don't use this um, tool, but say every once a month. I'm going to ferminate. This is the old school Ferminator. I think I have 15 left, and then they stopped making them like this anymore. So this is my favorite on any dog, husky, small dog, large dog, and this is just going to help me with some of those lines. Real light. I don't have to do a lot of pressure. He's not a husky. Real light. I'm just going to come through. This will help me pull out, say, any true dead hairs and a little bit of live hairs, which is why I don't recommend this brush on every dog, and then I don't recommend this brush more than once a month on a dog, okay? or a cat. Just pull that through, and you'll see some of those guard lines, they kind of go away, don't they? Look, look how much came off. Definitely worth running over, running over and getting that little, just that little boop. Real light, I'm not digging, I'm not hurting. This, for a groomer, if you are not a groomer, eh, it's okay, you don't have to do it. You don't have to get this really expensive brush, it's okay. If you're a groomer and you're on a budget, uh, pull out your 40 blade. You might drop your 40 blade and shatter it, but hey, use your 40 blade. What do I mean? Got a little 40 blade DD. Here it is. Get your 40 blade out, don't drop it or it'll shatter. The teeth will shatter, and then just take it, put your thumbs, put your thumb right here in the where it, the drive area, and then just bring it like, like that. Just a whole nother way to accomplish kind of the same thing, okay, without buying the Ferminator if you don't want to. If I just taught you something, put red hearts for me in the chat. If I just taught you something, you learned something, and I saved you some money, put red hearts in the chat. and the 40-blade 
Shorty Blade, or did you already know that? He pulled his ear hair out. I guess it did get pretty long, huh? Put some ear powder in there first.
thanks for watching TD4 with my favorite groomer. Jasper and I are gonna head Jasper and I are gonna head out. And if you wanna stick around for a chit chat, I'll be right back. Say you so happy. Say thanks YouTube for watching and hanging out. Say see you later. Say see you later. Say bye Jasper. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Yes you are. You're such a good boy. Yes you are. You're so good. You're so good. Yes you do. Yes you do. You're so happy. You're so happy. Oh, it's so good. That's a good boy. Are you ready to go? Huh? Are you ready to go?
I hope not. He was so happy. He was really happy that we left him longer. Yes, he goes, anytime we can leave him longer, I'm all for it. I'm like, yes, yes. <laughs> all right, let me take my gloves off and let's check at you guys. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. How are you guys and where are you guys at? I've got you guys now here. Let me take my mask off. Whew. I love hanging out with you guys to while I grew. Do you guys love it too? I'm just gonna kind of scroll here and see. Whew, there's a lot going on, man. Whew. It's hot here in Texas. Is it hot where you're at? Oh, I can't see certain things in this view for some reason. It's windy. <laughs> Look at my hair. Goodness. Don't be telling anybody my hair be looking like this. Oh, gosh. Hold on a second. Hold on a second here. We're live. We're good. We're good. My camera has a mind of its own. 50 de 55 degrees in Indiana. <laughs> Let me back this up. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Grandma Shell 23. Is that 23? To my favorite groomer, clap, clap, clap. Thank you so much for your donation. I know I saw it come through earlier. Grandma Shell, the other day, I really wanted to also let you know that I really care about you and thank you so much for your orders and for your love and donations. Thank you so much. I didn't say hi the other day when I saw you, but you were on my mind, thank you. It's raining in Hawaii, oh gosh. It's about to rain any day or any minute now here in Texas as well. So I can't wait till that happens. But I gotta tell you this, the dogs are gonna be real dirty. Them white dogs are gonna be real dirty when it rains. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the camera cut off. Hopefully you're back online, right, Chanel? Those of you guys who are watching, if you have anything you want me to see right now, let me know so I can read it off. And I don't want to scroll. I think you meant Switzerland. Switzerland? I've been to Switzerland. And it is a gorgeous country. Welcome. Please get five to ten of your friends to subscribe so I can have more fans in Switzerland, okay? I love Switzerland. South Africa? Get out. 32 degrees Celsius in South Africa. Wonderful. Chanel is on a beach. Okay, are you guys making this stuff up? Because you're just, you just sound, what, just no way. I live on a beach. It's been like 60 to 70 and windy for a whole week. Chanel, woo wee. Switzer 59 in Michigan. 59. Uh, it's so humid right now. What is it? It's 80 degrees? 78 degrees with humidity? It doesn't really get too humid here in Fort Worth. In Houston, it really does. But today, a little bit yesterday in the evening, it, it's been pretty humid. Humid means it makes you real sweaty. You feel sticky. And you just don't feel comfortable. Yeah, I was right on. 76 degrees with a lot of humidity. Whew. There was some folks, um, I can't scroll back far enough here like this, but whoever's going through a lot of things, I'm really sorry you're going through those things. And... If you've lost your pet or your pet's ill, I'm really sorry that you're facing those troubles right now. Those are some severe, heart-wrenching troubles to go through, and I'm sorry to hear you're going through those things. Thanks, everyone. How? Okay. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and thank you so much for watching Grooming. Jasper, he's so sweet. We usually do a 10 down everywhere, face and everything, till there, there's nothing left. And today I was like, well, I mean, we can get through the hair. Even though it's been six months, he's done well. Uh, the pet parent has done well. He said, Dee Dee, I've been using the guard down his neck and stuff and down his cheeks. I said, he does have thick cheeks. And he says, yes, he does. <laughs> oh, gosh, the things that we talk about here. But I really appreciate you being fans. Be sure to sh share this video. If you're just learning about My Favorite Groomer, share the video for me. I always ask that. Share, like, and subscribe. The more you have your friends and family subscribe or your social media friends subscribe, the bigger I get to get and the more people I get to impact. 
What do I get out of it? Well, I hope I teach some people some things and maybe get some sales out of it, selling them the products that I personally like and use. And I think that just knowing someone that you trust with the tools first, it's valuable information. So send them to myfavoritegroomer.com or dogupstand.com for some tools that they might use while they're grooming. I really appreciate you guys being here. Is there any last minute things you wanted to say before I let you go and enjoy your weekend? Chanel, um, if you're gonna trim manly bits, just like I was right here and then also the other day on my puppies and also the other day on other male dogs that we did live, go watch those. They were severe detailed in the private areas and you need to be really careful and like a, a blind person could, close your eyes and use your fingers all up under there to understand what's matted, what's tangled and where do parts of the body start and end. Not doing the cook. No, not why. Autumn, thank you so much for acknowledging my time and what I'm teaching you, and I appreciate you just saying thank you. Thank you so much for being a fan and watching. Pookie Puppy, you're so welcome. I hope you all have enjoyed the lives. I've tried to go live every single day for you. I hope that you enjoy them and see the value in that. Who goes live doing dangerous work? Not many people because there's no editing involved. We're not hiding anything here and we're not taking anything out. If I can afford the time to go live, you're dang right, I'm gonna show you live some dangerous things or working with animals or anything that could happen behind the screen is happening right then and there. You know, it's funny, I was watching a long time ago that new, it was a new show at the time and it was like Emergency 911 or something like that, that show and they, have, they would be in the office and talking to you and everything, and then they would be live like in the streets of California, you know, with the emergency, the EMT and everybody, there has been a car accident. And you know what, I was so disappointed when I found out it was live, but it was live, and then it got filtered to an editing room first, and then it was put on to where a format we could watch. Even though we thought it was 100% live, it wasn't. And I thought, wow, you know, like if you don't really understand, we're live. I'm live. I'm a groomer that's live. And I'm doing it right there for you to see it. No, no holds barred. Like it, here it is. You get the nitty, the gritty, the hard, the sweaty, the singing, the yelling, the loud drill sergeant or not. It's all what, fresh. It's right there. And if you acknowledge that and you see like, wow, share it. Share this video if you see that. If you can see that and appreciate it, because I do. Because I don't really know that I can, who does, there's not even a veterinarian that I see go live. So what are we holding back? Lives really share every detail of what I'm doing. And I hope you see that and thank you for watching. Thank you for being fans. Thank you for your support. Make sure you take up the and it's two speed, if there was a special that went out two days ago, make sure if you don't have a clipper and you want that and it's two speed, you take up that offer, it's a pretty good offer. Make sure you pick those up. And if you want to get the specials that we send out, make sure you go to myfavoritegroomer.com at the top right, log in, sign up. And that way, make sure you're subscribed on that website. It says subscribe to the newsletter in your, when you type in your information, make sure you're a subscriber, you're not gonna get those newsletters with those specials, okay? All right, thanks a lot. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon.
All right, you guys, see you later. Bye.